Hi there, thanks for joining us. Uh, I'm Travis Wynn, this is David Wynn, and um, basically we, we get uh, approached quite a bit. There's a lot of confusion out there when it comes to short sales, so we wanted to put this little video blog together um, that could maybe clarify a few, a few points that are a few questions you may have. Um, David's been doing short sales for how long now? Since 1995. 1995. Long okay. time ago. They're not as uh, they weren't as prevalent then as they are now. In fact, that was kind of the beginning, about 1994, 1995, of a lender allowing you to sell your property for less money than what's owed on it. It's basically what a short sale is. So it's fair to say you have uh, you got quite a bit of experience doing these things. Yes, a lot of experience and not easy. <laughs> All right, well, um, basically, we'll just start off um, just the probably the main question is what is, what is a short sale? It's when the uh, lender allows you to sell your home for less money than what's owed on it. Um, there's a lot of benefits to a short sale, one of which is that you you can recover your credit a lot quicker than if you go through a full foreclosure. Full foreclosure could keep you from getting another loan, conventional loan. You can always get hard money loans. That's a lot of interest. I mean, that's, you know, that could be 8, 10, 12 points, you know, above prime. So what you want to do is uh, if you can short sell a house, you need a hardship. And that's what our job is to coach you through the process. And number one is a hardship and you have to write a hardship letter. But if you can do that, what it'll do is save you, I mean, you could probably get another loan uh, within three years of your short sale closing. Sometimes two. Credit unions, I know, will do two. Uh, right now, I think uh, the standard Freddie Mac, uh, Fannie Mae is three years from the, sh the, uh, the short sale closing. If it's a foreclosure, it's going to be seven years. So, you know, it saves your credit and saves you a lot of headache. And don't forget, and, and it's all forgiven, the way the law is right now, especially through the end of 2012. Uh, and we expect that the, the laws will be extended, even though we're not quite sure. You know, that's upon if uh, Washington, D.C. wakes up and does what they're supposed to do. However, uh, another point, another subject. <laughs> yeah, that's another subject altogether. <laughs> but right now, it saves you. I mean, the lender also covers closing costs, realtor fees. You walk away. Sometimes we can get you a relocation fee. Um, I just did one where we were able to get these people a relocation fee of $3,000. So it helps them move into the next stage of life. Last year, we did one where we recovered $30,000 in a relocation fee. You just never know. But uh, it's, it's a way of, of helping you reestablish your life and getting you to the next step. That's what it is. Okay, so just to go back over that, basically, um, the short sale, you owe three hundred that or you owe three hundred thousand dollars on your mortgage. Uh, your property's only worth two fifty. You're forgiven for that fifty thousand dollars. Actually, more than fifty thousand dollars because you're oh, talking about closing costs, closing and, costs and all that. And with those fees, are do you have to pay those back? No. The way the law is now, no. Okay. You used to have to, or the IRS back in the 90s when this first started, the IRS sometimes would, and it was a very inconsistent law from what I ever could make out of it, but sometimes they would penalize you for the forgiveness of debt, which right now, uh, the law's on your side, there, there is no penalty. Okay. And so, um, what... Say you did want to, you did want to go through with the short sale process. What do you need to provide, or how do you, is is there an acceptance that you have to qualify for? Or? Well, that's where we come in, and and we have to advise our clients as to how to get the process started. Number one, they need a hardship. Why can't you continue to make your payments? You know, I mean, is there a divorce? Uh, is there health? Are there health issues? Um, you know, we we need to have uh, the seller 
the client, because don't forget, the seller is still, is still in charge of the property until the closing. The bank basically is just playing along, and we kind of have to make sure the bank and the seller are, you know, are getting along here together. Um, we need to make sure that, that everything comes together and, and uh, saves the people the, the time and trouble of, of going through the foreclosure. I'm sorry, say that. What was the question again? <laughs> I got a little carried away. What was the question? Uh, the main question was, um, uh, do you have to pay that money back? No. Okay. According to the law now, no. Okay. Um, and typically, uh, this is another, I mean, whether you're selling or buying, this is always a major concern, but how long does it usually take? Depends upon the bank, depends upon the uh, investor. Uh, I've, I've gotten them done in as little as two months, and uh, I've also had experiences where they've rejected uh, because of the fluctuation in the market. Values will go up and down, and they send an appraiser out, and if the appraiser wants to fight our values, uh, and we get a buyer in there, and they reject the buyer because they say the price is too low, I mean, it can go on for over a year, but usually I would say you can get it done the norm for us, anyway, is somewhere between two and four months complete. All right. Well, I think that about covers it, and we'll throw some bullet points up um, just so you can review. And if you do have any questions, uh, feel free to contact us, and we will have our information up as well. Thank you. Thank you.